I'm Rebecca. Today we're going to be cooking up a delicious pesto chicken panini. Okay, so this is what you need. So I have a little griddle here. Um, it's a, a it's called Griddler by Cuisinier. I don't know if that's how you say it, but you can probably get these at Walmart. Super easy. You can use like a George Foreman. You can have it in your dorm. Super easy. Okay. Uh, ingredients. Got some provolone cheese. It's been in my fridge about two weeks. It's still good. Okay. Got some chicken. You can buy this cooked, so you don't even have to cook it. You just buy it, just warm it up in the microwave or on your griddle. Then we got some bacon, and um, this actually it says used by April 3rd, 2017. So um, it's still good though, don't worry. Some French bread, you can get this at Walmart, like a dollar, all right? Uh, you got a little olive oil cooking spray that we're gonna spray a little bit on our griddle. Um, I have some butter, and I have some uh, pesto that we're gonna put on our griddle, okay. So I turned my griddle on, it's like, it's green, it's good to go. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna heat up this chicken a little bit so it's not cold, cause that's disgusting. Um, so my hands are clean, question mark? Okay, so we're just gonna put a couple pieces of this on our, wait, first, we gotta spray it though, sorry. Right? Okay, now we're gonna put a little bit of this chicken on here. You don't have to put too much because like our bread's kind of small. So I'm just using like the biggest pieces that I can find. Okay, so yeah, this bread's kind of small. You can use any kind of French bread, Italian bread, whatever. This is a dollar, you can eat like a whole loaf. That's what I do, I just buy it and eat it because you know, I'm like Italian and that's what we do. So we're gonna cut like not an inch, not really half an inch, but somewhere in the middle, like three fourths because it's really just gonna, the griddle's gonna compress it. So you don't even gotta worry. Alrighty, so I got my two pieces of bread. They're not really even, but it doesn't matter because like we're professionals, so who even cares? Um, I forgot my tongs, so we're gonna like see how this is going. And like this doesn't have to be perfect. You just wanna warm it up mostly, so when you put it in your sandwich, it's not freezing cold. Okay, so what we're gonna do with our bread, we have our butter. So we're gonna put butter on both pieces of the bread. And that's gonna be like, I don't know, it's just gonna make it like crispy and delicious. It's gonna give it like that golden flavor. It's gonna be so good. And this is like for a snack you can use. This isn't really a meal, cause I had this for lunch and I was still a little bit hungry. Um, so just like a little snack you can make yourself and it's not like fast food or anything. So yeah, we're still, yeah, we're gonna work on that a little bit more. And then I have some um, pesto, and this is gonna be like your mayonnaise, but this isn't mayonnaise, obviously, but it's gonna just give it a little extra flavor. You can use the same knife, just stir it up a little bit, because it is like oily, because pesto is like basil and cheese and pine nuts and oil and all that goodness. And you're just gonna flip these over. You can put it on one side, you can put it on both sides, whatever your heart desires. I really like this stuff, so I'm just gonna put it on both sides it's really good it gives it flavor and you can like add salt and pepper if you really want because that's just like some extra seasoning and you can just really don't have to be pretty okay so we're gonna take this off the grill because it should be good to go just fling it okay okay so now what we're gonna do we're gonna construct the sandwich so now our cheese is gonna act like our glue it's gonna hold like our whole sandwich together Okay, yeah, make sure you, the butter is gonna go on the grill. So make sure you don't put your cheese on your butter because that's, I mean, I guess you could do it. It's your life, so, you know. Okay, so now um, with your cheese, see your cheese is like just as big as your bread. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tear it in half or kind of in half, and I'm gonna put it like closer together. And then I'm gonna put this chicken on here. And this chicken's already seasoned, so you don't even have to worry about it being like bland and stuff. All right, then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this bacon. This bacon's already cooked, so it like lasts forever in your fridge. Like I said, it expired yesterday, but it's gonna be okay. It's okay, gotta work on that immunity anyway. Now you can add however much of this you want. Like you can go ham on some of this stuff, but just for purposes, I'm just gonna it's a big piece of cheese. Okay, so then you're gonna put another piece of cheese, act like your other set of glue, put it on there, 
All right, and then the pesto side goes down. Okay, so now we're gonna bring it over to our griddle. And now as best as you can, this griddle's like weird. You wanna make sure it gets on here nice and even. You can see that. Alrighty. Okay, so now we're gonna let this cook and we're gonna come right back. Justin is gonna be my official taste tester and it's gonna be delicious. I already know, I'm like Emerald Lagasse. Okay, we're gonna see you later. Smells so good. Okay, we're about done here. I'm here with Justin. He's gonna taste test this deliciousness. All right. So what you're really looking for, you want it to get a little golden. I could actually cook it a little longer and it'd be good, but for time purposes, we're gonna go ahead and take it off. And you really want the cheese to melt. That's like the important part. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off so I don't kill myself. Okay, now we're gonna cut it in half. And it's nice and crispy. Oh yeah, it's hot too. Okay. So I'm gonna let Justin go first because ladies first. So go ahead. If I die while eating this, mom, I love you. R.I.P. He just it's, manhandled the whole thing. It's like very hot. Yeah. This expired bacon looks good. Not too bad. It looks good. He loves it. I can tell. He's radiating. I taste the hint of expiredness. It's okay. Other than that, chicken's pretty good though. I seasoned it myself, like I said. Yep. Cooked it myself. I can taste the Kroger. One out of ten. One out of ten? Well, I'd say like a six and a half. Okay. Actually, I don't you know think what? so. Keep going. I'm going to take a second bite. Yeah, do that. I might regrade this. Well, I can bump you up to a seven and a half. Okay. Well, I'm a professional chef. You want to eat so. that? Yeah, you can have that. All right, thanks. <laughs> okay, well, that's all the time we have for tonight. So, uh, Bye, everybody. <laughs> thanks for watching, and tune into MSC tonight every Tuesday night at 5 on MSC TV 11, or visit us at youtube.com slash MSC tonight. Bye. Peace. Is it good? No. It's awful.